Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Bridget. Today I want to film a very mini drugstore haul. I went to Walmart to get some fruit and stuff <laughs> for my smoothies. Ugh, let me get comfortable, okay. I went to Walmart today to get some fruit and stuff for my smoothie. We'll start with the boring stuff. The first thing that I have here is for my hair. <laughs> so these are the plastic caps. They're kind of like caps for when you condition. That's what they look like. And I usually always get this pack. I used to buy like a hundred pack online, but lately I've been lazy, so I've just been getting this. And it comes with 15. It's about 94 cent at Walmart. So I needed a new pack. So I got that. Just kind of throw stuff over, huh? Until we done. <laughs> And then another thing, I got this for my skin. So I really love toning my skin with witch hazel. I recently got back into using it. And I have like this much left in the one I have in the bathroom. So I got a new thing of, oh, let's see, the Dickinson's witch hazel. And I was just all about coupons today. So I had a 50% coupon on the other one. So I just, and I forgot to use it. Because you know how sometimes they stick coupons on stuff in the store? Well, I always forget to pull them off when I get to the register. So I always end up keeping them on my stuff. <laughs> so I remember my coupon and pulled it off of there. And so I used it to get me a new bottle. So it worked out. <laughs> okay, so on to the makeup. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's start with... CoverGirl. So I do not own any CoverGirl lipsticks. I don't really know why because I do really like the CoverGirl brand. A lot of their face products break me out so I'm kind of scary when I buy them but I don't know why I don't have lipsticks by them. So clearly a situation that needed to be alleviated. Oh, I can't get comfortable. <laughs> clearly a situation that needed to be alleviated especially when you're a lip product junkie. So I got two gorgeous colors. Put them up there. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Two gorgeous colors for the summer. And I don't know what line this is. It just says CoverGirl. Yeah, it just says CoverGirl. So I don't know what line this is, but like the bright purple packaging. So the first color I got is 400 Guavalicious. And I mean the name. I mean, does the name not say it all? Is it just me? Does the name not say it all? And they have stickers on them, so this sucks. So, here is what that one looks like. Ah! Everything. Yes. Okay, so let's do a swatchy swatch of that one. Mm, it's lighter than I thought. Here's that swatch. So that's lighter than I thought. I'm going to try it. <laughs> I might have to pair that with a liner. Um, but I think it'll actually be pretty. Doesn't that kind of look like, no, it doesn't look like what I have on my lips. Never mind. <laughs> so that's the first one. I'm excited about that. They feel so creamy. Um, so I'm really digging that, but it feels really creamy. And I think it has really good pigmentation is my thought so far. Um, this packaging is serious. So here's the second one. And this is 425 Bombshell Pink. And oh my God, this color, I mean, does that not look amazing? Here's this one. Here's that one. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> that just says wear me. So those are the two colors. 425 Bombshell Pink and 400 Guavalicious. 400 Guavalicious, 425 yes <laughs> okay um oh i did get one more thing from covergirl this is the covergirl outlast longwear plus moisture lip product and this is in the shade 930 and here is what that one looks like so it has a rounded a rounded top and let's see how this one feels and how it swatches huh So this one doesn't feel as creamy, but this is dense with color. I think I'm gonna love it. There's that color. Ugh. I love a good lip. Ugh. When lip products give me what I need, I love it. So those are those three. Then since we're with the lipsticks, I got two lip, 
I got two lip products from the Flower Beauty line. I don't have any Flower Beauty products either. Um, and so I decided to venture and see what I thought. So let me just move the packaging. The packaging was really serious on all of these. Um, oh, I didn't realize that this one had already been, ugh, that's annoying. So here's the first one. And these are the flower, what are they called? Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color. And I got two of them. So the first one I got is in the shade LS17. Whoa, that is beautiful. So excited to try it. Oh my God. Do you see that? They are so smooth and very high shine, which is what it said about these. So that's the first one. And the next one that I got is LS24. I didn't realize I got such deep shades, um, <laughs> but that's okay with me. So that's what that one looks like. And let's swatch it. Oh my God. Oh, do you see that? These right here are gonna be all me come fall. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a nice little array, huh? I didn't realize they were so dark. And let me show you why I said that. So these actually have like the colors down here. And I mean, okay, that one looks dark, but that one looks, you know, kind of like a berry, but I'm, I'm gonna work it out because we're going to wear them. Those feel amazing. All of these felt really good, really creamy and really opaque color. So I can't wait to try them out. If you guys wanna see a review on any of those, let me know, cause I'm gonna be trying them out so I can definitely give you my thoughts on them. Next. I went to my trusty Maybelline because Maybelline just gets me with a lot of products. They really do. Um, so the first thing I got is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. It just works for me. Um, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me in 30 Cafe. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit like a caramel color, you know. And it comes, I'll show you guys. It's a, I'm sure you probably saw it, but it's like a doe foot applicator. That's what it looks like. And I'll even give you a nice little swatch of it. Um, and hold on, let me show you. I have two old ones that I need to throw away now. So this is the one I just bought. These are the two old ones that I need to throw away. I love this concealer. I've went through even more than this. I, I have to have this concealer at all times. So I'm going to throw those away. I had to dig down and get out my makeup drawer. <laughs> but this is that swatch right there. Can you see that? So that's what that looks like. And I love this for days where I'm doing like no makeup makeup. Like today I have on very light makeup. Not this concealer, but I have on very light makeup today. And I didn't really do a lot. Um, just because it's Saturday, just because it's Saturday and I just kind of wanted to, you know, I wanted to wear something, but not a whole lot. So just kind of a chill day. And I love this for that, but I love this for every day. One of my favorite drugstore concealers, seriously top notch. Um, and it gives me pretty good color. It's probably about a light to a medium. Like you can build it up to about a medium. Cause I've worn it all over my face as a, um, like I've worn it all over my face as if it was foundation, but sometimes I just spot conceal with it and go up under my eyes for really light coverage, top it with a powder, and I'm good to go. So the next things I got, and I had a $2 coupon for each of these. So I was so excited because Maybelline had coupons attached to different products. And I had already previously bought uh, the Falsies Mascara. So I got three of these. Um, I have never tried the, um, what are these? The color tattoos. And I actually got two from the leather line. So I have been wanting to try these for so long and I don't know why I had, oh, why I hadn't got them. So these are the two from the leather line. And it says color tattoo leather, um, 24 hour eyeshadow. This first one is a 90 vintage plum. This next one is in 80 Creamy Beige. I thought that would be a really good base for so many eyeshadow looks. 
And today I actually only have a flush of one color on my eyes. I don't know if you guys can. I just did like a flush of one color on my eyes because I've been really into lazy eyeshadow looks. So, yeah. Um, this one is just, I think it's just a regular color tattoo line. So I didn't even pay attention that it was different lines down there. Um, but this just looks like it's the regular color tattoo, 24 hour eyeshadow and 25 bad to the bronze. And I just, I really wanted to grab all of these. You guys, that's what that one looks like. And yeah, I'm going to insert a, a swatch of these. It's going to take me a minute to get them out the packaging. So I'm going <laughs> to actually, when I'm done filming, refilm swatches of these and then I'll insert them in right here. So those are those. And also from CoverGirl, I got some polish. So, <laughs> so these are the polishes that I got. See how I keep moving. So let's see. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant um, polish. This is the first one that I got. I thought it was gorgeous. You guys see that? And this is in the shade 93 Furry. Fury. <laughs> 93 Fury. That's what that one looks like. And then I got this one in the shade 240 Coral Silk. So pretty. Oh, I don't have any color like any of these in my in my um, nail polish collection. I mean, it's extremely small collection. I have a few colors. Um, I love nail polish though. So I'm starting to get more <laughs> as I see them on sale and stuff. So, um, but I don't have any of these colors and I have uh, most of my nail polishes like simple colors and that kind of stuff. So I just want to branch out, try something different. This is in 220 toasted almond. I fell in love with this color. I had to have it. I had to have it. Had to have it. <laughs> And then this one, I mean, guys, okay, listen, <laughs> this is in 40 Petal Power. <laughs> is that not summer? That's, so that's not summer? Okay. So we agree this is summer and Bridget had to have it. You know I'm polishing my nails with it, right? Yeah. I just polished my nails with this color that I have on a few days ago. Um, let it chip a little bit more. You know I'm polishing my nails with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> and then because I love simple colors, they are my jam. Like I just love simple color nail polishes. I have so many. Um, and I don't have these two and I just wanted some pretty colors for summer. So I got them. <laughs> so this first one is this bright old yellow. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go, bright old yellow. And it is called Let's Meet. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's called Let's Meet. And then, and I don't have any colors like any of these nail polishes that I bought today. And this is Boogie Nights. Oh, that's cute. I love when nail polishes have cute names. It's just like, yes, you understand me. Look at that. Pretty like melon color. And at first I thought this color was similar to this CoverGirl one in 93 fury but it's not they're absolutely different you see that so yeah and with that being said my bag is empty and we have officially filmed my first haul video so i hope you guys like the products that i showed today um why can't i think right now <laughs> What am I trying to say? I hope you guys enjoyed this haul is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. If you try any of these products, tell me down below what you tried, how you liked it. If you have any recommendations for CoverGirl lipsticks that I should try, please tell me down below because I need to try some of their lip products. What's good? What's not? Let me know. Um, and who has tried anything from the Flower Beauty line? What are you guys liking? What are you not liking? All right. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Bye.